All right, so it's time for a new episode of Virgie's Guide to Pasadena Trees. Um, well, it's more than time. Uh, today we're going to look at the firewheel tree, Stenocarpus sinuatus. Uh, this would be the tree that we see right here. Uh, you'll note, I guess, first of all, this trunk has uh, uh, more mature bark. When it starts out earlier in its life, the bark is more uh, smooth and then it becomes furrowed with age. So it's sort of a light brown color. Uh, but obviously the bark is not very interesting. That's not why I wanted to show you this tree. The reason I wanted to share this one specifically with you is that it happens to be blooming right now and it has these very interesting looking flowers that give it the name Firewheel Tree. I don't know if you can really see these very well, but they're sort of a bright red-orange with yellow-tipped, um, almost spider-like or uh, anemone-like flowers. Uh, I think you can probably see that one pretty well. And that's what gives the tree its name, of course. Uh, and then the other interesting thing about this tree is the leaf shape. You can see that the leaves are, uh, they're, they're simple leaves, they don't have lobes generally. They're sort of uh, oblong, oh there's another flower, they're sort of oblong uh, with wavy edges and not just wavy edges but also they, on this particular tree they are recurving. So you can kind of see it's not just that the edge of the leaf is wavy but the, the leaf itself is sort of curving back uh, on itself giving it this very distinct shape. And that is not something that you will see on every firewheel tree, but you do see it on this particular firewheel tree, which makes it kind of fun. Okay, so then I wanted to share with you one more thing about this tree. Here we go. The, uh, oh, well, first with the leaves, I did find a few that are on the ground here that you can see the, the recurving shape a little bit more clearly than, uh, you know, up there in the, in the tree. So, you know, so anyway, here we go, the recurving leaves. And then we have this, uh, the fruit. The fruit is just a dry follicle. It's a long, oblong, dry follicle. And that's what it looks like. So this will help you to identify the firewheel tree. And yeah, there it is. So the next time you see one, enjoy the funny looking, uh, sort of space alien or sea creature-like flowers in the and the lovely, uh, strange-looking leaves.